Hello everybody, my name is Sid Phillips and you're looking at a Yamaha C6 that I bought here at the Steinway Gallery in Nashville. And it's a used one, it was made in 2000. And uh, back in the year 2000, uh, this is the unit that was uh, used for this clavier, the player piano feature. And it's the, uh, runs on floppy disk. So you know, if this came with all the floppy disk of the original owner, it looked like the original owner played mostly Christmas music. The piano itself wasn't played that much. So um, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, as part of the negotiation when I bought it, and I bought it in February of 2020, I uh, negotiated in this unit as, the, as uh, a wave. This is the modern player piano unit. This is the DKG 850. And it has to piggyback onto the old unit, which is um, the DKC 100R. It can't work without it. At least that's what they thought. And uh, they weren't being deceptive because Yamaha doesn't make a remedy for that. But if you know Richie Hayes, he does. And so what I want to do is walk you through the process of what Richie has and how it works and how you can get this knee buster off of your piano. So um this first i got i got everything working as it was the way it came in let me uh just press play on here and uh since i need to relax i just got off work i'm gonna play some eric Sati. and so you see it works now i'll press stop um so now let's go through the procedure of hooking it up i'm going to try to do this all in one take without uh so you, you'll be able to see me and all my blunders and in, in doing this but i I think I know how to go about doing it fairly efficiently. Uh, one of the first things to do is turn everything off. So let's do that. And uh, also there's a there's a power strip under the piano. I want to turn it off. And I don't know what the what there's what all the new ones look like now. This is my power strip under here. That uh, they whoever had this piano before me, they wanted to put the the uh, OD controller on the other side and uh did a lot of creative rewiring and things under here and i've kind of cleaned it up and removed a lot of the uh this piano's lost a lot of weight i moved a lot of the hardware that I, it, i'm not going to be using so uh anyway so now everything's turned off the power's turned off let's go and start hooking up richie's circuit board and what the circuit board is this is what it looks like it's very small and it can mount under the piano you don't have to worry about mounting it four little screws to these holes here. That's not necessary. Um, but it's got a, a nine pin adapter on one side and it's got a, a 15 pin adapter on the other side, a male, nine pin female, a 15 pin male. And um, so the, uh, and this is uh, what we have the two screws and these are two attachments that come with the unit for attaching it to the back of the piano. And you can just use these on the wires and use a piece of felt or some insulating material to go behind this circuit board, just as an extra precaution to make sure it doesn't uh, short on anything, which it shouldn't anyway, I wouldn't think it would. But also uh, to reduce the rattle, because all these things under your piano, especially Yamaha's, they're kind of bright. Um, you can get sometimes an unwanted buzzing when things can vibrate next to something else. So now let's go under and disconnect the old unit. The first step and the one the ones I'm excited about. And I've already got the screws loosened just for the sake of making this video shorter. So this is free. And now we'll go about hooking it up. So this is the nine pin side. And I'm assuming you can see me, yeah. I'm just hooking this up. I'm not going to screw them tighter. I'll do that later. I'm just going to get them hooked up to uh, so you can see it. And then there's the cable on the DKG850 that came with the DKG850. And if you'll notice, it's got... I'm uh, got my camera on a tripod. Okay. It has these blocks, and I've kind of loosely reattached them so that you can see what I'm talking about. It will not attach with those blocks on, on that plug. They're in the way. Really simple to remove them. You just get a screwdriver and uh, they'll come right off. 
So now they're both gone. And so now they'll attach. So that's good and snug. And now, so the next thing to do is go to the new DKG 850 unit. And I'm splunking under my piano here, but I hope I can get it where you guys, everybody can see what I'm doing. So, we hook this up on this unit. Now, I'm not going to screw it. I'll screw it in later just so you won't waste your time. One thing to tell you, though, uh, since they told me that, you know, I had always had that old unit, I kind of stowed everything away that all the extra parts that came with the GK850, including this cable. And the connectors are a standard 15 pin, but the wiring is not standard 15 pin. So, I had a hard time finding this cable, and I... Had the bright idea that uh, I could just buy an VGA cable, 15 pin, and it would male to female, and that would be good to go. Don't waste your money or your time. That was a bad idea. It didn't work. So hopefully I've saved a little bit of money. Um, so now I believe everything is hooked up. One thing I want to do that I am really happy about, and there's some extra wires hooked up on this unit because I'm using some of the audio features on the uh, DKG. I'm disconnecting the old unit that was connected through these MIDI cables, the MIDI in and out cables. Don't need those anymore. Now this goes directly to the to the uh, power unit and thanks to Ricky, Richie's board, and it's gonna be able to play the piano provided I did everything right. So one thing I can't forget to do, or it won't work, is now go back and turn the power on. So now the power is back on, and I'll call out from under the piano. And here's the old unit that's off. I'm going to leave it off and it's going to come off. And here's the old unit and I'm powering it on. And I'm going to set this up and adjust my tripod a little bit. While it powers up, raise this up so I can point it more directly at the unit. So one of the, the only thing you need to do in this unit, you gotta tell it that it's not hooked up the same way it was before. And when it finishes powering it up, I'm gonna go use the system button. There, it just finished, go to the system button. And this is the remote here. You kinda of have to point it at the, um, at the unit. And a lot of this unit relies on a remote. You can use the button panels, but it's a lot easier to use the remote. I'm, I'm using my arrow button to pan over to piano type. And I want to select that. It's set on add because the DKG850 was added on as a piggyback unit to the DKCR100. I can't remember what that name is. So now I'm going to change it to be replace. Provided I can hold my mouth right and make that thing take it. There it goes. It says replace. Press OK. Now it's going to restart again. And then after it restarts, I'll... I got the standard Yamaha uh, CD in here that's got all the songs that you know people are anxious to try the piano out. So these are all already loaded that you can try them out. And I'll load that up once this thing finishes booting up and we'll see if I did everything right and if it plays without the old unit. There it is. That's the piece I remembered where I was even though I turned the power all the way off. So I'll press play and let's see what happens. Here we go. And I think that's about it. I don't think I have anything else to uh, show about how that hooks up. But it's really pretty simple. And the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go in and under it and hide all the wires so that when you sit in my living room, you don't see all these ugly wires hanging down from my piano. And uh, I got a lot of wires going everywhere. 
and that baby is going to come off and uh I won't need it anymore. This piano has lost a lot of weight because the old unit had like an old synthesizer module, this module and wires going everywhere. So this simplifies everything quite a bit, thanks to Richie. And uh, I will put a link, I'll provide some information in this video about how to get in touch with Richie. And uh, we will go from there. Everybody, hope you, if you get one of these things, uh, wish you luck. Thank you, bye.